This river appears to be sandy and large rocks, boulders. Different from what I'm used to. And it's about 30 degrees cooler today. Well, the high will be about 20 degrees cooler today than yesterday. I don't know if we have a high pressure system that came in or a low pressure. But here's what I do know about that. Might help you out. A high pressure system coming in they don't bite as well because the air bladder in their in the fish is compressed, makes them not hungry or as hungry as a low pressure. Well, let's add uh, another movement. Bladder expands more, and they start feeding more. Keep that in mind. Might help you. Little hint, little tip for the day. Oh, that's a huge carp down there. Is that what's moving around in here? Should I brought some corn? That tail was huge. I don't know if you got to see that or not. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. I believe they wait to hear that before they start biting. That's my theory. If I get something too big, I don't think I can get to the water. That's the only problem I see here. Oh, I can get down, but I'm not getting back up. Buddy. That could be a problem. I don't know if you can see this, but uh, oh, there's a house or two right there on the river. I lived there, I'd have it pulling water at all times. Maybe. <clears throat> if I had some corn. Make me something down there by the water so I could fish from easier. Might be a little dock. But might be what that white thing is down there. Well, we are going to call it here. I think the only thing in this spot is carp, and they're not wanting the worm. If I was close to a store or something, I would be making a run. I'm gonna have to carry some corn in my car for such an emergency as this.